I'm Steve Sanders, and this is Mingo RV Park. I never had dreams of owning RV parks, but when my dad passed his business down to me, I played the hand I was dealt. I turned this one park into five successful parks nationwide and somehow started an RV empire. But managing 800 spaces across three states, hundreds of employees, and thousands of tenants doesn't come easy. Our guests are some of the most eccentric, bizarre, and offbeat characters you're ever going to meet. But we get along just fine, because I'm not your ordinary guy either. The RV park business is a seven day, almost 24 hours a day business. You've got to be involved every second. Do you have any money? I put a lot into this business and I expect the same from my employees. Jerry, where the f you been? He yells at us, but it's okay if we yeah. like yell back. You see, he's an unusual kind of guy. We meet so many interesting people like Steve Sanders. He could be in the bathroom and make 50 bucks. Steve wins a small pot there. I've been a gambler all my life. That's why I supported my family for 25 years. And Sanders checks and will lose. Uh, if there's any girl out there that thinks I might be interested in them, would you give me a call? <laughs> Most of my employees are just tenants who've stuck around long enough to get a job. With this Bad News Bears team behind me, it can feel like this place is just held together by duct tape. But somehow, it works. Ryan, you're a great employee sometimes. <laughs> We're going to ride, ride, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm fine. You need to get that sign off of there, and then you're going to have to move the unit out of here somewhere, okay? Okay. My security guard, Pat, is an ex-movie star and wears this fake badge and has a blue light How's that, children's? Oh, yeah. And takes the job very, very seriously. Some stuff can happen here that can get out of hand real quick. I have to come down here. We're going hands on. Right. We go into cuffs and we go right downtown from here. Yes, sir. They can come at 11 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. I don't give a shit. Get the money here. Well, I have the small park in Tulsa. Emily is the manager. There you this go. It's not enough. Young lady. She came and said, I bet that was 40 dollars tomorrow at the same time. Okay. And I went, I don't bet that's what you told Steve. She's kind of disabled, but she's still a good manager. I guess. <laughs> she's not really. She's not really. She just, I just support her. Thank you. Good job, Emily. Good job. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. What would I do it's without you? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lot. And the one employee I should be able to count on, my son, is the one making my life the hardest. It's Mr. Wonder Boy. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. <laughs> I want to take it over, definitely, just because it is a family business. And of course, being the boss doesn't hurt. He doesn't have any idea what I do. He runs at the desk, and he doesn't know the other 98% yet. Don't screw this up. What I'm trying to do is give 2% a month. But we've been stuck on 2% for a couple of years. You know how to make a checklist? I'll try to figure it out. He wants me to work from 8 to 8 every day, which is ridiculous. It's 925, you're not at work yet. Well, I don't feel good. I'm sick. I see a lot of me and him, unfortunately. I saw a few times you blank. Well, I, I, I'm looking at your boobs, too. I know. For the people that haven't heard, in this razor-sharp mind of Jared's is now going to take over. <laughs> we house thousands of tenants annually, and with every check-in comes its own story. From long-term residents to overnight guests, college kids to families, Mingo RV is home to the most outrageous, outlandish, outspoken cast of characters around. Do you smoke pot? We don't allow it in the park. Oh, I don't bring it in the park, per okay. se. <laughs> the people are so fascinating, you never know what's going to drive in. Can you hold on one second? Hello. I need a room or a trailer or something big in a small space. When you have 600 people a night staying in the parks, you're obviously going to have some characters. Did you ever see any wildlife at Mingo? Uh, besides me. You're in prison for 15 years? The first time. I wonder where the hell I put my phone. Sometimes I find mine under my TV. This property is like having the ambassador of the Fountain Blue Hotel and the Motel 6 all in the same checkout desk. And everybody brings their own motel room. You go from the top strata of the social ladder down to the very bottom, all living next to each other. There is no experience like that experience. It's a zoo around here. Not any two people alike. My goal is to live long enough to take care of my St. Bernard and teach Jaren the entire business. That's my bucket list. I'm Steve, this is my boy Jaren, and we are Park Sharks. Park Sharks.